in. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we make the assumption that others know what we think. and We don't have to say what we want because we assume they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should know better. Bottom line, get rid of the gray, folks. My guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 212, NASDAQ up 49, s and is up 23. Percentage-wise out here, what you had, folks, is that you had the Dow Industrials traded up 8 tenths of 1%, NASDAQ 7 tenths, S&P's 9 tenths. Netflix, NFLX, they just come out with numbers. Uh, Netflix closed at 307. That's tra trading at 305. It's been as low as 300. It's been as high as 310. Uh, we'll get back into the numbers uh, on Netflix. Well, what, what was intriguing is that when Netflix first uh, did come out, they had the link up and there was nothing inside the link. Uh, Bloomberg and a few of these other news outlets were going uh, pretty wild pretty quickly, but bottom line is that they got that link up there. Gold contract, gold contract up 80 cents, trading at 13.48 an ounce. Silver up one penny at 16, $16.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 97 cents, $66.36 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you had the 10 year note down one tick, 120.14. 30 year bond up three, 145.16. Both notes and bonds, folks, what they did once again. They rejected lower price. They had lighter volume. Uh, the 10-year got down to a price point of 127.17. You did 950,000 contracts. That's anemic volume. You were going into monster strength. You were going into 2.6 million contracts as well as 2.4. They want higher price. That's your 10. We go to the 30. We take a look at the 30. What you're going to see inside the 30, 30-year. 30 got down to a price point of 144.21. You did 230,000 contracts, also rejected lower price, dramatically lighter volume. You were going into 464,000 contracts. And what did come out right after the close, folks, is that China holdings of United States Treasuries has risen the most in the past six months. Bottom line, uh, they're buying Treasuries. And you know, it probably is just not China, folks. Uh, net buying of agency debt uh, was... Uh, 11.8 billion in February. Uh, Japan's treasuries, uh, let's see, they fell 6.3 billion, but they still hold 1.06 trillion. Foreign net buying of U.S. Uh, corporate debt uh, was 4.1 billion. Um, big numbers. So let me get the whole table. This is pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. Here's the whole table. So you had, uh, when we go from notes and bonds, when you take a look at it, uh, February, you had them come in with uh, $23.5 billion in bonds, $8.9 billion in bills. Although, okay, so the, the bills are only two years, uh, two to five years. Um, China was the main one. Uh, you, you're going to love this, though. See, China's the main one, folks, but look, you got Cayman Islands, number one. So, Cayman Islands, folks, that's where all the funds are. Cayman Islands is the biggest buyer of bonds, period. $10.3 billion. China, $8.5 billion. Uh, Germany, $7.5. Saudi Arabia, $7.3. United Kingdom, $7.2. It just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, sellers, let's see. In the first seller, this is pretty cool, too. There's no large sellers. Well, Ireland. Ireland, $13.5 billion. Japan, $6.3. Ireland, uh, Ireland would have been the largest to sell it. Bottom line, you can see the, the point here. The point is, yes, the Feds uh, it, are going up on short-term rates, but guess what? There's still more buyers than there are sellers inside that marketplace. King dollar. What do we have A King dollar? King dollar down 353 ticks, trading 89.150. If we go take a look at King dollar, what you're going to see with King dollar is that uh, it closed out near the lows of the session. Now, it only had 16,000 contracts. That's shot contract volume. That's light contract volume. There's no doubt about that on the way down. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see how it gets into this lower swing point because it's dealing 
uh, with the swing that was generated out here on the 11th, which is 89.02. We're at 89.15. I expect what you are going to see is that it's going to try to make this run for 88.530. Then that's not the bottom uh, of the uh, consolidation. The bottom of the consolidation is 87.830. And I do expect uh, we're going to basically get into that number, and we'll see whether that number can break down. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract held its own out here today, uh, up 80 cents, 257,000 contracts. Uh, that gold contract wants to run up to that 1375 area. We go over to silver. We take a look at silver, $16.66. Silver did 75,000 contracts. This is pretty good. Silver peaked its head out. Um, you know, Silver's been having a tough time uh, trying to basically catch a bid. Caught a nice bid last week, got up to $16.89. Right now, we are at uh, $16.65, and the top of that consolidation is approximately $17. I do expect we're going to go after that $17 area. The real kicker is going to be, uh, can it take that baby out? We're going to take a look at that back to Netflix. What we have with Netflix, Netflix closed at 307. That's trading 331 right now. And 331, let's see, your high is 333.98. So, bottom line is that you can expect a lot more volatility in this, but bottom line is that it is, is pushing up into that area. Um, let's see, Netflix second quarter total net streaming additions. The estimate was 4.83 million. They, they came on with 6.2 million, big numbers. Um, earnings per share, they had seen the 65 cents. They think they're going to do 79 right now. And let's see, what else we got there? Exceeding forecast, that's, that's the bottom line. And uh, we'll see uh, how the rest of this uh, shakes out. Volume-wise, uh, they expected 3.69 billion. They did 3.7, so that's, 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 a, that's a close number. Uh, but they are trading, uh, they're fluctuating basically between uh, around that 330 number. Right now you're at 328. That doesn't mean they're going to stay there though. Uh, for the first four or five minutes they were at the 305 to 310. They popped up to this 330. That 330 number, that is the high of the day out there. Uh, high, no, it's their high period. Volume inside the NYSE today, 748 uh, million. Uh, inside the NASDAQ composite, we had, uh, let's see, composited uh, 1.7 billion. Stay right there, folks. Good night, man. Mr. Larry Pesavento coming up next. Growling a problem with you. We're going to be right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks.